Good morning and welcome to this service of morning prayer on Monday. I thought we'd begin our worship this morning by reading something from a book called Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. It reads, I am a God of both intricate detail and overflowing abundance. When you entrust the details of your life to me, you are surprised by how thoroughly I answer your petitions. I take pleasure in hearing your prayers, so feel free to bring me all of your requests. The more you pray, the more answers you can receive. Best of all, your faith is strengthened as you see how precisely I respond to your specific prayers. Because I am infinite in all my ways, you do not need to fear that I will run out of resources. Abundance is at the very heart of who I am. So come to me in joyful expectation of receiving all that you need, and sometimes much more. For I delight in showering blessings upon my beloved children. So come to me with open hands and heart, ready to receive all I have for you. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old and endures forever on those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So this morning's psalm is Psalm 119, beginning at the first verse. Blessed are those whose way is pure, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies and seek him with their whole heart, those who do no wickedness but walk in his ways. You, O Lord, have charged that we should diligently keep your commandments. O oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then should I not be put to shame because I have regard for all your commands. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learnt your righteous judgments, and I will keep your statutes, O forsake me not utterly. How shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word? For with my whole heart have I sought you, O let me not go astray from your commandments. Your words have I hidden within my heart that I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, O teach me your statutes. With my lips I have been telling of all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your testimonies than in all manner of riches. I will meditate upon your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes, and I will not forget your word. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So our first reading this morning is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, 
The earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good and separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seed in it, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater lights to rule the day and the lesser lights to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the living waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves of every kind, which was the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind, and it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our own image, according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all wild animals of the earth, and over creeping things that creep upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And on that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Our second reading this morning is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, beginning at verse 1. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, 
flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be upon their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. For the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, have sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. See, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. We say together the Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. So let us pray. Lord, this morning we pray for those who represent us in our parliament and for those who serve in places of influence and authority. Amid all the pressures brought upon them, may they follow your guidance and seek to do things that are right, that through them your will may be done for this nation, to the honour and glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for a growing unity with Christians of all churches and denominations. For local church officers and members of church councils, for their responsibility as leaders in making known the gospel of Christ in their own neighbourhoods, for the teaching ministry of your church, that we may be well equipped as your saints and instructed in the truths of our faith. We pray for those who have care of children and young people, for those who share in the ministry of care, counsel and comfort and all those for whom they minister, the sick, the sorrowful, the elderly, and the lonely. We pray for our civic leaders and those who maintain the health and safety of our communities, for the social services and the industrial life of our towns. 
we pray for ourselves as church members, that we may have the grace to proclaim through our own lives the joy of Christ's victory. Almighty God, as you have called us to serve you here in this mission of your gospel and in the ministry of your love for all people, so bless each one of us with the wisdom and power of your Holy Spirit, that we may know your will and be strong to obey it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, Lord, we pray for those who we know who are unwell, those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Lord Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Please stretch forth your hand to bring healing to all our loved ones, especially those who have been affected by the coronavirus. We ask this and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just a reminder that if you would like to send your prayer requests to us, you can do that using the link at the bottom of this page.